So how's uh man, we we've you're you're coming to the this is being recorded when you got one more week of uh Chicago, right? days today of tour. Tuesday, first yeah. leg. home, end of the Sunday. first leg. Oh nice. Oh yeah, I feel old. It was weird. I was thinking the other day, uh when I joined the Almond Brothers, I think they were around my age now that I am oh, now. You know, wow. right? It's weird. Like going to all these sheds have brought back. I just keep for some reason flashing back um, to those early days, and um, yeah, we, I'm like, we wow, were... this is how tired. This is how they felt. <laughs> they yeah. were tired. You're <laughs> probably a little healthier, Oteil. Yeah, I I probably feel better, which is scary, because like I feel like shit right now. Dude, you know? <laughs> like when I left, I was just like, you know, yeah, physically just doing so much better. Sleep schedule, food, exercise, just you know, all every category, and now I'm just like back to this, you Your know, text. the the Walking Dead zombie. Wake up and have breakfast at twelve thirty. You know. Your texts are funny because if I go back to like the beginning of the tour, it's like 8 a.m. Like, hope you're doing good, brother. And then it's like 11. You're like going back into zombie music road mode. And I'm like, uh oh, but I get it. I get it. When you're on the road for three, four days, five days, six yeah. days, whatever. And then you're like, I'll just sleep through today. I'm gaining weight. Because, and I realized, oh, it's really basic. You, you eat four meals a day. Because yeah. you eat that one after the gig at like right. eleven thirty at night, right. full dinner. Second, and dinner. then oh, let me have some cookies. It's just like, of course, like you know. And we can't use the gym because of COVID. So, I've, for the first time, I'm going to go home to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, this has been an interesting Crazy. weather. I mean, the, this first leg of Toro Teal has been like, you guys are like chasing or escaping or running from like hurricane after hurricane yeah, after rain. storm. I mean, dude, you, it's been such a wet. Yeah. Do you remember when, what was it? The first night when you were in, uh, it was Raleigh. in Raleigh and that storm broke out. We were, man, it was crazy. I haven't seen the wind because there were so many trees. I guess maybe I was more aware of the currents and just how it looked like ghosts flying around and shit. Man. And I've, I literally thought some trees were going to blow over it. and it just seemed to, I don't know whether we were following it or it was following us or we were just coinciding or what Jesus, man. It's a wet funny. summer. Very wet. Summer. Yeah. It's been an odd summer, man. The whole, you know, watching all, all these different bands, uh, tours or certain legs of it get canceled because someone tested positive. Yeah. And just that specter hanging over your head, you know, it's um, it just puts a weird. You're always paranoid a little bit, you know. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It's just fine. I'm, I'm. We got, what is it? Seven? No, less than seven days. So, I'll get my oxytocin back. <laughs> get the kids all over me and the dog. And gonna, the dog. Oh, we you're got a new dog. Blooded. What's going to happen? Is the dog going to know who no. the hell I am? dog's going to be mad at you for a minute. It's going to try I to protect Jess and the kids. hope my smell is there somewhere. Well, she should start now giving him, like, old, like, well, mm. I'm I took all my laundry. Yeah, sh I don't know if I have anything. Your smells will be all over the house and love between you and you and everybody, the dog when the kids feel. When the kids go to yeah. you. When the kids go to you, the dog's gonna be like, "Oh, this guy's cool." Yep. But you got to get yeah. down to you got to get down to dog level, like you yeah. got to get low. Like I think if you, mm. I I really do believe after all the dogs I've had that dogs pay a lot of attention to the height of a person. Yeah. So if you get down below, like if you lay down and almost kind of get on your back and be like, yeah, you know, that might just to get the ball rolling be like a good move because. That's what I'll I've be had doing friends with my that are kids. way taller than me, and my dogs would be like, "Who the fuck is this dude?" And then once they get low, they're like, "Oh, you're that dude." <laughs> you know, and it's it's mm -hmm. it's interesting. Hey, who's the knees over here? Who's the knees over here? <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of amazing synchronistic moments at shows, 
I went to Great. I went to. I'm calling it Great Woods. I'm not calling it Xfinity. Whatever. Sick of the name changes. Exactly. Great Woods, enough is enough. It's Pine Knob, not GT. Goddamn right. We're all Great off. Woods Meadows. <laughs> Enough is enough with yeah. this, you know. I remember when they changed what Alpine to Clip Clipshits. Get out of here, Clipshits. Alpine, but it's, 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 it's Deer Creek. It's Alpine. It's Walnut Creek. You know. Walnut yeah. Creek. That's yeah. right. Lakewood. No. Yeah. Yep. Fuck mm. off. Fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off. Xfinity. Yeah. Stop they keep things. changing it. Oh, they keep changing it. At so one point, annoying. at one point, the Connecticut one was the ctnow.com Dodge. And it was like Get like four different here. things, like. Yeah. Brought to you by Hartford Healthcare. Whatever. It's like, oh, stop it. <laughs> Why does everything have to be sponsored? So Great Woods, second set ends. We'll wait. So my dogs, in order, okay. Uh, when I was 15 years old, the day that Jerry died, I got Casey Jones. That was my first dog. Okay. And he died at 15 or 16 years old. Then Lisa and I got Stella Blue. And she lived to be about eight or nine. And then we got Sugar Mags, our, our dog Maggie, right before Charlie. And they, you guys end the second set, first night of Great Woods. Casey Jones, Stella Blue, Sugar Mag, in order. You played in my order. dogs out, man. And I was like, <laughs> if you guys play Cosmic Charlie, I'm going to fucking punch everyone in the face. Like, I just can't believe <laughs> Well, how... we wouldn't do that because... The other ones are all dead, so we don't want to kill. Yeah, I know, Charlie yeah, totally. You didn't want to kill. Playing I was gonna call home. Get the dog out of the house. <laughs> Change the dog's name. <laughs> but you guys did, and I was like, at, you know, Casey Jones started. And I'm like, sick, you know, and I'm thinking about my pup. And that was the nicest thing I think my parents have ever done. When my when when Jerry died, they picked me up from work that day with a little golden little puppy, and they went nice. here and just handed him to me. And I go, that's Garcia. And my sister goes, nope, you already have a fish named Garcia, so you can't have <laughs> One's taken. two pets with the same name. And I'm like, come on, man, really? What are you? You're, you're, you're. She was like eight years old, and she was like, no. It's like she put her foot down. She's like, we're gonna have to vote. So we went Casey Jones, and then uh, he was a good pup. And then, uh, yeah. And then you guys played Stella Blue, and I'm like, there's no fucking way. I was crying during Stella Blue. And I'm like, yeah. if they play Sugar Mags, I'm like, <laughs> doom, 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 and I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding. You did all my dogs. So great. All, all my dead dogs are up there. In, the rug. in order, though. In, in order, order, dude. Like Matt Bush was. I texted him he about it. He came and talked. He was like, that's crazy, man. I was oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> he was really into it. It was I super text, cool. I go, I go, dude, that is too much. And he goes, how would I even know? How would I even know? And I'm like, oh, I hope you don't. Otherwise, you've been, you've been, what am I, Truman Burbank? You've been watching me since I was 15? But Yeah, uh, really. <laughs> and, and he was just like, I go, this is some magic we're working with, man, huh? And he was like, yeah, tell me about it. And then Hartford, dude, Sunday night Hartford, never miss a Sunday show for, for real. Rained like a son of a bitch the whole day. And then yeah. we got into the show, and man, it was fantastic! What an unbelievable, great he's gone, lost sailor. We got scene. lucky this tour, man, because I mean, of those tempos. It's those tempos that couldn't come at a better time. Yeah. After a year and a half of no playing, it's just and Bob's been smiling so much. Kamini said he has not seen Bob smile as much in twenty years. Oh, that's great! In twenty yeah. years, he's Crazy. like he's smiling on stage. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> just, you know and so i'm like you just have to celebrate you know yeah. you have to celebrate and i'm i'm really glad because i feel like the music something the pandemic did something good for the music yeah it did some i mean it just it did something good for everybody's psyche to like realize how lucky you are to just have right now yeah you know yeah. yeah. And then with the whole COVID bubble and the excruciatingly long days off and you're just isolated, you know, then when you get back on stage, it's like ah, someone gave you water again, right. you know? Yeah. So it's really helped, man. It's made, I, I feel like musically, this is the best tour we've ever had, you know, honestly. Yeah. A lot of people are saying that 
and yeah, like really, and, I'm and glad on, that you on know. Reddit, um, and, and not just hyperbole either. I think people people are pointing to certain things. Mayor, like I was waiting to have a bad night. You know, I've had a, a rough portion. Like I could tell because my back will really be hurting mm-hmm. if things are going too slow for too long. That cracked me up when you said. That you know, <laughs> and um, well, slow songs but, hurt your back. <laughs> but I have, I have, we haven't had like an off night and you, you usually have to have one you know where just everything's against you but like every night has had multiple multiple moments of just like wow we never did that before mm. these jam- some of these jams are going into just like you know playing <laughs> in weird. the bands playing in the bands yeah. you guys have gotten very like it gets deep fast yeah, it just goes. Whoa. Yeah, that's that's one that like I mean, and even on Sirius XM, I was I was driving and I had it on, and I wasn't paying attention. The way that the display is on like the Apple CarPlay or whatever, you know, like it's either the map, your GPS, or the Sirius channel that says the date and the venue. And a plane came on, and I was like, "What is that?" Like I always play a game with myself to like pick the year, <laughs> you know, like, and I was like, "This sounds very." It could have been '90s dead, like like I had no. It, yeah. it really stumped me, and because huh. uh, the further stuff is extremely like that was slow further hmm. stuff, and the sound was unique, and it didn't see, sound like I feel old like that dead stuff is faster. <laughs> yeah, see, I like I like this year's the shit you guys are hitting this year. Are like it's great, man. Really, really yeah. great. I was thrilled with like the. I got, I got, I got a St. Stephen, William Tell, yeah. Eleven, like, man, that yeah. got, that got, that got rocking, you know. Any jam just goes like quickly, just. Yeah. I think it's just a matter of like, what are we here for? Hey, this is Oteil. If you're liking what you're hearing, head on over to Patreon.com/forward/slash/comes a time pod and get your bus pass for an extra episode every week.